Luke 4.15 says, He was teaching in their synagogues and everyone praised him. Romans 12.2, Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you are able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing and perfect will. Welcome everybody. Happy Wednesday. Um, thank you for joining us as we are continuing in this week's devotions as part of our Audacious Life series. We are looking this week at being wildly authentic. So um, we know that Jesus lived the ultimate audacious life. And as we said before, as a church, we are not looking at building a culture or lifestyle around an organisation. We are building our lives and culture around a king and a kingdom around Jesus. And Jesus lived that ultimate audacious life. So as we look at Wildly Authentic this week, we're today thinking about staying authentic in public and how we do that. So Luke 4.15 says, he was teaching in their synagogues and everyone praised him. Jesus was praised by everyone. Everything was going so well for Jesus. His PR company are like, keep doing what you're doing, Jesus. The people love you. Now, the danger for us is that public plays praise can inflate our ego. It can inject pride and it can boost self-reliance. Accept praise, be thankful for praise, but don't allow others' praise to be what defines you. Praise becomes a problem when we allow it to evolve into pride. 1 Samuel 18 In 1 Samuel 18, Saul allows praise of both of them to evolve into pride. Saul has slain his thousands, David is ten thousands. And from that day on, Saul kept his eye on David. He didn't trust him. Proverbs 16, 18 says, pride goes before destruction, a haughty spirit before a fall. How can you tell when you've allowed pride to take root in your life? Proverbs 27, 2 says, let someone else praise you, not your own mouth, an outsider and not your own lips. When you start to lift your own praise up, when the glory is absorbed and not mirrored, praise can become pride. But the only way out of pride is to praise. So Luke 10, 21 says, At that time, Jesus, full of joy through the Holy Spirit, said, I praise you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. So the antidote of pride is to praise. Praise the only name above every name. Praise takes the spotlight off me and puts the spotlight on him. Praise reminds my ego that I cannot do it without Jesus. Jesus didn't allow public acceptance to alter his assignment or define his character. He stays authentic. So don't sacrifice your character and your calling on the altar of public praise. Live wildly authentic. Live like Jesus. Have a great day, guys. See you tomorrow.